Tip 15, Badges, the badge you have depends of your gameplay from last 21 days. It will collect top 10 scores from last 21 days and add them together so you get your total score. The badge you have depends of your total score, this is total score you need for particular badge. As you can see there are also top 11 20 scores but they are only stored so when your score in top 10 end because 21 days will pass then top 11 score will become your top 10 score. Here you have days left that your score will be counting to your total score. Once 21 days pass your score will be gone what means your total score will goes down which can cause losing your badge. The most important badge in the game is ice badge as it unlock you option to spawn with 3 pets. Spectrum and Dragon Badge only gives you extra golden apples from the daily reward and more resources when you spawn in the game. Tip 14 You can check each pet ability, details what effect they do and see the weakness and advantage types of each pet. If pet have advantage on the other types of pets it will deal double damage to the pet. If the pet is weakness to other types it will deal less damage to that types of pets. For example, Electric type have advantage on the water so it will deal double damage to water types pets, but it is weakness to plant, rock, electric and dragon pets so it will deal x2 less damage to them, including the skill of the pet also known as the ability. Tip 13. You can swap pet position by dragging image of the pet in top left corner. It can be very useful if you are using hotkeys for pet target and skill as you can select which pet will have which hotkey. By the way there is one code hidden for golden apples in this video. Tip 12 Always open this pet chest, never cosmetics as they don't give you any advantage in game. Pet chest helps you unlock pet you can spawn with which can give you big advantage in game. Tip 11 Hat You can double click on hat in shop to wear it. Tip 11 On age 4 you can select bow, wrench and shield. If you are a beginner I would recommend to use shield as it protect you from enemies as well from the animals. Tip 10 When you beginner I would recommend you using two weapons, hammer and daggers. Hammer is used to level up age the fastest in the game by gathering stone, make sure to use minor had to level up faster. It is mostly used to building the base and wrench the base, however if you want to have more fun by killing people. Animals or bosses then I would recommend using daggers as the movement speed is the fastest from all molly weapons and gathering resources insane with hats. Compared to other molly weapons. In the forest biome here you have a lot of double stones which helps you to level up really fast with hammer. Tip 9 It is good to remember this places as they always have double berry bushes which helps you to farm faster food. Forest have 4 double bushes. These are the locations. This are four location in the forest where you can find double bushes. Winter has only one place with triple bushes which is really good to farm food on. Dark forest has around four to five double bushes. These are the locations. Tip 8. When you spawn with three pets, level them one by one. It means keep two of your pets outside of your view so they don't get EXP, only pets that are in your view will receive EXP. If there are two or three pets on your screen the EXP from killing the animal will be splitted on all your pets that are on your screen. As you can see I moved only one pet near me so he get 400 EXP, instead of 133. As you can see here 400 EXP got splitted on 3 pets. Tip 7 Always use cape if you see someone using the same type of pets and want to kill you. It will help you to survive instant kill attack. Without cape you have very low chance to survive instant kill attack, like 3 electric fox. Each cape costs 6000 gold but they reduce a lot of damage of the pet ability, around 75%. So if you see someone with 3 electric foxes just buy electric cape and wear it. It will help you to survive his attack as 3 electric fox with good weapon can kill you on one hit. Tip 6. Repairs visit the server when server is going to be restart. You will get notification in the game that server is going to be reset. 
mostly they appear before the update of the game so they can kill you and save your progress you made in the game. Tip 5. In the settings you can set up hotkeys for almost everything in the game. First of all turn on function of disable key combination as it will allows you to use one key on the keyboard to activate pet skill or move his position, instead of holding shift plus second key. Pet skill hotkey is activating your pet skill. Pet target hotkey is activating your pet target point. Secondary weapon is bow, shield and wrench hotkey. Third weapon is saddle, appleter and slingshot hotkey. I guess rest is obvious since they are named with the object name. This two hotkeys are also useful and used often in the game. Transparent background will make your settings and the shop background transparent, so I recommend to turning it on. My recommendation is also to turn off large windmills and windmills rotation, it will make your game in base easier. Tip 4 In my opinion this is the ranking of the weapons. Daggers greater than katana greater than sword greater than hammer greater than spear greater than axe. Ranking is based on daily gameplay, not one. Tip 3. When you create account you can spawn with three different pets, rabbit, wolf, and bear. Always choose a wolf as it has the biggest damage and it is really danger if you use fire hat. Tip 2. Best three combination of pets in each biome that you should try to tame. You can also use one of them if you not success taming all three as they all are really good to kill other people. <laughs> Subscribe to Mafia if you aren't idiot, if you idiot just stay away, thanks. If that video help you at least a bit, make sure to leave a like so more people can see that video smile. Hey, wake up, go watch my other videos noob.